for two years after being drafted in the fourth round. Number 44, Antonio Morrison, suited up as an inside linebacker for the Colts before being traded. Eight days ago, Carmel police and fire crews were called to Morrison's home and found smoke coming out the windows. Morrison allegedly told police he burnt some food but refused to come outside. The next day, Morrison was taken to the Behavioral Health Unit here at Community Hospital for evaluation. This affidavit claims Morrison threatened nurses and assaulted security officers, but Morrison's neighbors describe erratic behavior dating back years. In fact, the upstairs windows, Morrison's home, have all been covered in paint. For more than two weeks before the fire that damaged this apartment, Carmel police claim they took multiple reports of Antonio Morrison threatening to kill his neighbors, yet the suspect's family believes football may be to blame for that erratic behavior. According to court records in Hamilton County, Morrison's father told police he believes his son suffered from a concussion playing football three years ago and the NFL paid to have his girlfriend and two children relocate to Florida due to violent behavior displayed by Antonio. There's no question that somebody's behavior, short-term and long-term, can be adversely affected by uh, concussive hits and subconcussive hits. Purdue professor Eric Nauman doesn't have any information on Morrison's case, but has studied head trauma in football players for years and insists repeated brain injuries suffered on the gridiron can alter someone's personality. What we found is that even if you aren't diagnosed with a concussion, your brain changes dramatically. Hit after hit after hit tends to accumulate and it uh, uh, changes the way your brain functions. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. No doubt some serious conversations.